Hey guys, what is going on? This is Real American Studios, and I'm bringing you a brand new conspiracy theory video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. And uh, if you enjoy this, these conspiracy theory videos, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And, you know, kind of like give me the feedback as to whether or not you're enjoying it. But our first conspiracy video, as you can see, I have a cute little dog named Cookie right here. So, the conspiracy is that Raz actually got a dog to have more luck with the ladies. And, um, you know, I'm neither going to confirm nor deny this this uh, conspiracy. Actually, I am. I'm going to deny it. I just wanted a dog. Like, I mean, just look at her. She's just so cute. Like, you know, just the cutest little dog ever, you know. Even though she tried to run off today, she knows what she did. She apologized. Anyways, Cookie, you can go back. You can go lay back down. But yeah, guys, uh, my brother's currently in the process of making the thumbnail for this video. However, your boy is recording this video as the thumbnail is being made, and today I'm going to be covering a few topics. And, um, you know, at the end, I'm going to be covering my main event topic. But this first topic is about a place I work at known as Walmart. Literally to everyone. Some call it, like, maybe Wally World as my ear continues to bother me. But some know it as Wally World, but I call it Walmart. Now, the first conspiracy actually is about me and Walmart. You know, I think this kind of adds to the creepy effect, the fact that you cannot see my face. But yeah, guys. Um, so basically, the conspiracy is that Walmart and the government conspired to hire me, knowing that I had a YouTube channel, to kind of combat the fact that there were FEMA camps made from six Walmarts that were closed down. And, you know, this is an interesting conspiracy theory that actually came forward to me. And it's really weird, you know. It's extremely weird. But, I mean, you know, hey, I'm neither going to confirm nor deny. But, there's a separate conspiracy on Walmart, and it is that the Walmart brand known as Great Value... The products are actually made of 95% glue. And they say that when you run great value bread under the water into a strainer, you get a lot of glue. And yes, I do want to test this conspiracy one day. I do want to test it. So, you know, stay tuned for that because I've actually got a, new, a good camera over there. I've got to get a charger for it. And you're going to see videos recorded, like kind of vlog type videos and all that, recorded with that camera. You know, so it's going to be fun, I'm telling you guys. There's going to be a lot of fun things coming to this channel eventually. But, now this conspiracy theory, I want to I want to confirm or deny it. Like, I do want to test it out. But at the same time, I'm not going to bash the place I work because, you know, I do like my job. I would like to continue working there, and it would be unfortunate for them to see this and decide that, you know, I don't, uh, that I don't, I shouldn't work there anymore because, you know, because I'm bashing the place and I'm like kind of exposing the place. No, I'm not trying to do that. So yeah, like I, I can neither confirm nor deny either of these conspiracy theory video, these conspiracy theories that have come up to you guys. Like I can't, I can't confirm or deny. But yeah, um, but this next conspiracy theory is quite the controversial one, and I've seen Shane Dawson talk about it a decent bit. And it's that these wildfires in California are actually laser beams. They're not by nature. They're laser beams. And there's several pictures that have come up on the internet that kind of show something that would look similar to a laser beam, 
you know, hitting an area and causing fire. And, you know, there's also pictures of where the wildfires seem to, like, it'll destroy a house, but any trees around it are kind of like, you know, they're kind of left untouched. And I, I find it very interesting. Like, I find this conspiracy theory very interesting because, you know, I mean, I mean, it, it seems like something that could happen. I mean, it does seem like something that could happen. I mean, you know, Donald Trump doesn't like California. And the military, like, you know, they're already, like, they're already kind of, they're kind of testing out, like, laser-type weapons. Like, I believe they are. And it makes sense because you wouldn't want to test it out on a country like North Korea or Russia because, number one, like, those are countries that, you know, you don't want to start World War Three, And at the same time, you don't want to hit those, like, places where they store nuclear weapons and cause a massive explosion because, you know, that could destroy the world. And, yes, I do believe part of the downfall of the entire world will happen during World War Three. You know, nuclear weapons and all that, like, and, you know, I'm not making this video to scare anyone or to turn anyone against Trump. I mean, you know, like, I, I can't confirm or deny this conspiracy. I'm just, like, I find it interesting to talk about. Like, this honestly, well, like, ranking conspiracies, this is probably the number one conspiracy theory that actually interests me right now. You know, so, like, I find it very, you know, interesting. I'm saying interesting, but like this conspiracy, like it's just something that wows my mind. Cause you know, now like a lot of people, like more religious people, again, like if you don't believe in this and this offends you, like you know, if any of this offends you, I highly suggest you click away from this video because I am covering, you know, controversial stuff in this video. But you know, like. A lot of like religious people say, "Hey, California's turned away from God." Like you know, this and the drought and all that. Like several things are being thrown California's way to test them. So like by God, you know, like it's God's way of punishing them. Now, I mean, as I just put my face in the light, I kind of like it better like with my face in the dark though. But like you know, like it's God's way of like you know, kind of like judgment upon them. You know, I'm not going to share my personal beliefs, you know, because, I mean, truthfully, uh, I don't have a dog in this fight. And I mean, you know, I mean, I, I do, I am a Christian, you know, I do claim God as my God, you know. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to share my, you know, I find it better to separate your YouTube life from your opinions and all that. Like, I find it better. You know, so. But, yeah, like, that. this is the conspiracy theory that most interests me. And I, I do like it. Like, I do. I do enjoy talking about it. But, you know, now this next conspiracy theory video is something that. Alright, but basically, like yeah, like I said, I wanted to rate them on a scale of 1 to 10 believability. Me working for the government and covering up for, you know, those six Walmarts being shut down, I'd give that a 1 out of 10. Like, that's literally not believable at all. The great value being made out of glue, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. I'd say it's kind of 50-50, like either, you know, it, it could happen, but at the same time, it doesn't seem likely that, you know, Walmart would want to kill people because they'd rather bring people to the store than push them away. And the California laser beams, again, I'd rate that on a scale of 1 to 10, a 5 out of 10. That's kind of 50-50. Like, it makes sense. It does make sense from, like, you know, the fact Trump doesn't like California. We want to test weapons. But at the same time, would Trump... Would the government really want to, like, target anywhere here to test out weapons? I mean, I will be covering, now these two, like, conspiracies won't be in the thumbnail, 
but at the same time I do want to cover them and this next one is from the days of John F. Kennedy well kind of like either Kennedy or Reagan I can't quite remember but there's a theory that the military was planning an attack on citizens so that they could blame Cuba and blame Russia and start a war start the Cuban and Russian war like you know like and Kennedy said no now l let me explain something to you guys the military what they do is you know there is no praise that we can give them you know like the Medal of Honor is obviously the highest praise a soldier can get you know the Purple Heart that's also a high praise we as citizen or anybody we can't give these soldiers the praise enough because it's because of them that we are able to have our freedoms in this country but you know I find it hard to believe that the military itself would a absolutely be so stoked to go to war with Russia and Cuba because I mean if you think about it, those are two very dangerous countries two very dangerous countries back then so why and also Cuba it's a big trade partner why would we want to go to war with Cuba and again why would we want to go to war with Russia because that would literally be World War three right there pretty much you know and it's only what 30 years after World War two like can you imagine the destruction back then can you imagine the destruction now though if it happened look I would be honest like World War three happens I honestly believe the world would be in ruins. Like in the Bible it says, you know, the city of Damascus will be a ruinous heap. Like we already see that happening. The whole world could be a ruinous heap. Like, you know. And it's just something that's extremely scary to think about. But as for the military, like targeting citizens to blame it on Russia and Cuba and start kind of a war, I'd give it a maybe a three out of ten on the believability scale like it's not very believable at all I mean I suppose it's possible but like you know like Kennedy denying something like that I'd give that a ten out of ten on the believability scale because I don't believe John F. Kennedy would want something like that in this country at all so you know overall that whole conspiracy it's something that c any, any of this could happen I suppose but some of it's just not very believable. So, you know. Now, this next conspiracy is about a game that many people play. Pokemon Go. Now, the conspiracy is that Pokemon Go was designed by, basically, by the U.S. and Japan to be able to spy on China. And, you know, like, the game was banned in China. And, you know, because this conspiracy went out to China. Chinese officials actually got so paranoid that they banned the game. Like, because they don't know what, they don't want us to know what's going on in their country. And, you know, I'm not going to bash any country. Now, I mean, China's not the only country where there are horrific things taking place. They take place everywhere in the world. I do believe that. Uh, uh, you know, but China is so overpopulated that you know, like, I mean, there are fathers killing babies because, you know, you're only allowed one child per family, you know, like, and I mean, I, I, obviously there's that whole thing about underground where they're giving children life, like keeping them safe from being killed, like it's an underground operation, but it's not, it's an illegal operation there. But it actually seems to be for a noble cause, actually. But, you know, like... But, you know... And that, uh, you know... That kind of leads me into a conspiracy that I just thought of about the United States. So, in New York, you know, the recent abortion... You know, the whole abortion thing... Now, let me tell you something. Abortion is a topic that I'm very passionate about, and if this offends you, you know, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I can't say that I care here. 
I, I do believe abortion is murder. I do believe it's wrong. It shouldn't be able to happen when the child's conceived, much less when the child is close to being born. And the fact that the mother still delivers the baby, even though it's dead, like she still delivers, you know, the placenta and all that is just sick. You know, and just the thought of abortion just makes me sick. So I'm sorry if I offend you with this, but I absolutely do not agree with abortion. Now, my conspiracy, the government's allowing abortion to keep the same situation that's happening with China away from the United States, and that's overpopulation. And, you know, I mean, you know, like, you know, that's sick. Like, I, I'd ra I think I'd rather my country be overpopulated than children not get a life and I'm, I'm sorry if you think otherwise but abortion's wrong guys like that's my belief if you don't like it you know you can hit that unsubscribe button hit that dislike button for all I care it's not gonna hurt me as much as it's hurting these ch children cuz I mean you know if I was an abortion doctor I wouldn't be able to live with myself to be honest like um, you know so no Abortion's wrong in my eyes, and it always will be. And I don't care if it hurts my channel to say it. I don't. I I do not support it at all. But yeah, but I kind of got off topic there. Now this conspiracy theory is probably going to be the one that takes up quite a bit of time. And this is the fact that you know. This one kind of involves the Illuminati and celebrities, entertainers. And, you know, there's a theory that several celebrities are in the Illuminati. You know, including Donald Trump himself, the president. And let me tell you something. In order to get to the level that, you know, like the level of rappers like, you know, Kanye, Eminem, or entertainers like Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, in order to get those levels, you really have to sell, like, figuratively, and I do believe literally, you do have to sell your soul. Now, look, I did a previous video about the Illuminati using this as a distraction for their main goal, which is world domination. But I, I do believe there's some truth to the Illuminati, the whole Illuminati thing. Now... A lot of these entertainers that are said to be in it, do I believe that they're like sending out these subliminal messages? No, I believe they, they're kind of playing off the fact that everybody thinks they're in the Illuminati. They want you to think they're in the Illuminati because that's making them more public, giving them more publicity, more fame. But you see, with being that big and like singing and all that, at the same time, your producer basically owns you. A lot of these producers are in the Illuminati. And if you look at it with Hollywood and even the music industry, there's stories of, you know, sleeping with producers, directors, all that to get to a higher point. And so basically all I'm saying, like the entertainment industry, you know, Hollywood, all that, I believe it's all corrupt. I believe it's all corrupt. And yes, I do have some beliefs that the Illuminati does control stuff like that. But they use it as a distraction for their main goal. But you know, like, you know, for example, you take a guy like Kanye. You know, like, is he in the Illuminati? Uh, you know, probably not. Because... I don't believe, like, he was married to Kim Kardashian at one time. I don't think she's in the Illuminati. But she might, they might still be married. See, I don't keep up with a lot with that. I guess you could say I'm not keeping up with the Kardashians. Lame joke. Insert lame joke here. Rash, you're stupid. You suck and you should, like, delete your YouTube channel. You know, insert all that. Um, if you've made it to this point in the video, comment hashtag Illuminati confirmed. But guys, um, back to the subject at hand. Basically, like selling yourself, you know, selling your soul, selling 
you know, sex, you know, money, it, like that's what Hollywood and the entertainment industry as a whole is run on, you know, and that's a lot of the messages that are in our music, you know, sex, money, fame, you know, um, you know, it's all in the, in this music and do I believe Hollywood and the entertainment industry should be pushing stuff like that, especially to a younger audience? You know, um, I mean, no. Like, in some cases, like, you hear Eminem, he'll rap about, you know, murder and women and all that. Do I believe he actually goes out and does what's in his songs? No, and I do enjoy Eminem's songs. And Eminem has even stated in, like, several of his songs that he raps about this stuff because he, he's expressing himself, but at the same time, he's joking around and having fun with it. He's not actually pushing this stuff well. I mean, you take somebody like Nicki Minaj, you know, does she ever say she's just joking around about stuff like that? I mean, no, she doesn't, so. You know, like, she's pushing stuff, I mean. You know, like, pushing sex, money, fame, all that, you know. Like, and you really shouldn't be pushing that, I mean. You know, like, Eminem, again, he says he has fun with it, you know, he jokes around with stuff. Like, he even says in this stand song, you know, I say, I say all that shit clown and how fucked up is you, you know, and there are people that, like, they truly believe in this stuff, they truly go out and do it, and there's even a case where a guy literally admitted to murder in his song six years later, like, he would have gotten away with a double murder, but he admitted to it, and was eventually arrested, and, you know, like, you know, that's, that's the point where you're getting too cocky. You know, and do I believe this music at times reveals stuff about people? It does, I mean, you know, it does. It, I believe that some of this stuff in these songs, like, it's all based off of their story. You know, a lot of it is, you know, like, again, with Eminem, I use them as an example a lot. Eminem and Dr. Dre, they do, like, a lot of their music is based off of, like, their life story. So, you know. Like, those are the kind of music I like to listen to. But, like, when you take a guy like freaking, um, you know, that song Gucci Gang, you know, talking about you're in the Gucci Gang and you got a bitch who's smoking cocaine and all that, like, that's not something you should be pushing and that's not music I like either. You know, like, I don't like hearing about going to the club and making it rain on the booty and all that. Like, no, I, I don't like that. But again, you know, that's the entertainment industry. What sells? Sex sales. Fame sales. You know, all that sells. So, yeah, like, is this actually like a um, conspiracy or is it more a message? I guess you could say it's kind of both, I mean. But, you know, at the same time, like, back to the conspiracy at hand is like, the fact that the Illuminati runs all of Hollywood, you know, like, and the entertainment industry as a whole. And, yeah, I do believe there's some truth to that. Like, I do. And, unfortunately, like, you know, they're there to push that kind of stuff. They're the ones that control what is said in the song. They're trying to push that. They're not trying to push, you know, Satan and all that. They're just trying to push the th the worldly things that, you know, maybe he stands for. And that leads me into this last part. And this last part is very controversial. And if you've noticed, a lot of people that, you know, they blow up, you know, they, they, they hit that stride, you know. And once they hit that stride, like, you know, they're on the rise. And then next thing you know, they're dead. You know, it happened with Tupac, you know. Tupac was killing the rap game and then get shot and killed. Michael Jackson was killing it. it. Like for over 30 years in the music industry, Michael Jackson was killing it. And then he overdoses and dies. You know, he dies. Mike, Johnny Cash. You know, some of you younger viewers might not even know who that is. You know, and it's understandable. Like, I, I know who he is. Like, I like his music, to be honest. But, you know, he was big. 
Yeah, he was a, more of a country singer. Like, he was big. Dies. You know, overdose. Elvis Presley, I believe. You know, some of you younger viewers definitely might not know who he is. But, you know, like these were guys that were killing the music game. And then they died. You know, even recently, uh, Mac Miller, you know, he was on the rise. And then all of a sudden, dies. You know, and drugs, like all these drugs and stuff, you you see how like these like these songs are pushing, you know, sex, love, money, drugs, fame. I believe that these these singers sometimes there's times when they take this stuff to heart, and they get wrapped up in that life, you know, you know, drugs is drugs runs rampant in the entertainment industry, you know. Even, you know, back to Eminem and Dr. Dre, like, I believe they've admitted, like, you know, pill usage and, you know, drug usage in the past. And there were times when, like, you know, they kind of hit that bump in their career, and it's because of that drug usage. You know, like, several singers have sung about that, you know. But, you know, like, this is just a message, like, if you're, if you're struggling with this, get help immediately. Nobody's going to judge, like, there's going to be people that will judge you, but, you know, like, I wouldn't judge, I mean, you know, and really nobody should because, um, you know, addiction, you know, people can say, stay off the pill, stay off the weed, stay off the alcohol, you know, uh, don't, don't have sex, but, I mean, you know, once you hit that time when you are addicted, it gets inside of your mind to the point where I need this or I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to survive, you know, and it's bad that that does that to you. And, you know, the fact that like stuff like, you know, pills and alcohol and all that, it's all legalized here in the United States and it's the stuff that can kill you. But, you know, you take a marijuana plant, you know, that's a natural herb. It's not going to hurt you. But the fact that here in Alabama, it's like highly illegal to have marijuana. But, you know, yet you can go out into the bar and get drunk. Like, you know, people are all the time dying from, you know, drunk drivers hitting people. You know, pill overdoses and stuff. You know, and uh, which this isn't my last conspiracy theory. I actually have one more after this that I do have to get into a little bit. But, you know, like, it's just, you know, like, obviously this is probably the most controversial video I've made on my channel, which, it, you know, it's not extremely controversial, but at the same time, you know. But, you know, all I can say is, you know, get the help you need because, you know, um, sex addiction in a lot of cases leads to rape. Drug addiction a lot of times leads to, you know, your life being completely, completely and utterly blown up, you know, um, in cases of meth labs, you know, like, at, literally blown up, but, you know, you wreck your life with drugs and stuff. Um, pill addiction a lot of times leads to overdose, and the addiction to money a lot of times leads to bankruptcy, so getting addicted to any of this could be bad for your life, and you have to get the help you need. You know, and, um, you know, like I said, I do believe that the Illuminati has some involvement because maybe these are the guys that didn't want to get in with the crowd with the Illuminati and managed to blow up anyway. And, or, or it could be the producers, you know, they make a, a few million bucks off of you and then all of a sudden they decide they have no use for you so they don't want to keep paying you like keep you in a contract so they just kill you you know maybe they're hiring contract killers like literally contract killers you know and stuff like that you know and it's bad I mean you know it's sad to think about you know that the entertainment industry and Hollywood wrecks so many lives and there's so many people out there that you know, they're on the outside looking in that they are also wrecking their lives, you know. Do you know how many people go to Hollywood aspiring to be actors or actresses and end up working, a, you know, a regular 9-to-5 job or 
working in a restaurant every single day of their life, you know, like, you know, it's sad to think about. It really is. And, you know, like I said, this is probably the most controversial video I've ever made on my channel. You know, but, and I, I, I'm telling you, like, you have to get help for, you know, whatever you're dealing with. If anybody here is dealing with anything, you know, come to me. Let me know, you know. And, you know, I mean, I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm not going to bring your problems out personally. But, like, I do want you to go get help, you know. You know, and so, I mean, if this video, I'm not making this video to get all the glory for helping somebody. But if this ever helps somebody gather their courage to go get help, you know, like, do it. But anyways, guys, um, this leads me into my, literally, my last conspiracy for the day. And that is the whole theory behind cloning. And, you know, a big example of this would be Jay-Z. You know, he, uh, he's overdosed so many times, you know, and... You know, like it, it's kind of a, you know, as many times as he overdosed, you know, you'd think, you know, either he's lucky, like God's really on his side, or if you don't believe in God, you know, fate's really on his side. I mean, it could be the case, but, you know, a lot of people say that, hey, he's cloned, because as many times as he overdosed, he should not be here. So maybe they, and that that's another thing, like, you get big and then, you know, you get big and then all of a sudden, you know, dropping off, you know, like, and those are the people, like, that no, they no longer had use for. But someone else, like Eminem, he basically, in one song, you know, again, I said before, he jokes about it, but, you know, like, you could use it as a clue, kind of. He said he's died three times in one song, so maybe Eminem's a clone. You know, um, I mean, there's several cases, you know, where, I mean, I, I just suggest you guys go and do some research on these things if you're interested, because, you know, there's a lot more out there that I can't even mention. If I try to mention every story, everything that goes into it, this could very well be a three, four, five hour video, you know. I could be recording until like three in the morning. It's currently like 9.30 right now, 9.40, something like that. But, yeah, like, you know, uh, and there's been cases where rappers, like, rappers or singers will go to an insane asylum, an institution, and they come back, and it seems like they're, they're, they're a whole new person. Like, you know, like, you know, there's been changes in their physical features and all that. I mean, you know, you be the judge of this, but, you know, like, do let me know, like, what are your thoughts on all these conspiracy theory videos and this video in general. You know, like, like I said, this might be the most controversial video I've ever made on my channel. Yeah, and I'm not, obviously, I'm not trying to get shot by the government or anything. I don't believe the government will come forward and attack me, you know, personally, because, I mean, at this point, you guys would know if something happened to me, or if all of a sudden I stopped talking about them. Like, you guys would know the government or the Illuminati, you know, was kind of involved with it. But again, like, these videos are made purely for entertainment purposes. Um, most of the time, I'm, I'm like, I'll share like whether or not I believe it. I forgot to add in, like, you know, the believability scale for the Pokemon Go thing. It was like. I'd say it's a seven out of ten, very possible. Uh, for the clone, for the uh, Illuminati control and everything, I'd give it a six out of ten. It's pretty believable. And for the cloning, I'd probably give it about a five out of ten, like kind of fifty-fifty. It's possible, but it's not. Oh yeah, yeah. There was one last conspiracy that I did want to talk about. And uh, this is one I literally heard at work the other day. And then I have to talk, you know, a little bit about my buddy at work and kind of explain, you know, the inspiration for this video, especially the parts about, you know, selling your soul and all that, because I do have to tell that story. But 
And there's a guy at work. His name is Levi. We call him Screech. Uh, obviously, that's from, uh, I think, the, the Brady Bunch or Saved by the Bell, one of the two. I can't remember. But he basically said, did you know Adolf Hitler was the only guy, the only person to ever own a time machine? And that's based around the fact that they never found Hitler's body. So, and there's a lot of people that look like Hitler now. They could be Hitler. So, you know, I mean, hey, I'd give this like a 2 out of 10 on the believability scale. Like, maybe the government just didn't want us to know they actually found Hitler's body. They didn't want, like, anybody knowing where it was so they could, like, desecrate it and all that. I mean, I don't know. But, you know, like, that, it's just interesting to think, what if he went back in time or went forward in time? so that he can never be found. You know, like, I hope he don't show up at my door tomorrow because, you know, I'm not blonde-haired, blue-eyed, so I'd probably die. But, yeah. Uh, but, anyways, like, and now to get into the final story that I was going to discuss, and that is, uh, so I have a buddy at uh, work. His name's Zan. Zan. Uh, he had he aspires to be a rapper one day, and you know he he said he's always saying you know, hey I'm gonna be a millionaire one day, and I mean I always say you know follow your dreams, but I did explain to him look, you know like you basically have to sell your soul to get big in the first place, and he said yeah I'm gonna do that, you know and I think I I think you know maybe he doesn't understand the whole consequences sure. Being a millionaire, nice. It's going to be nice. But at the same time, with mo with great money comes great responsibility. It also comes great consequences. And the consequence to that is, you know, you're going to be working long hours in that studio. You're never going to be able to see your family, you know. Like, at that point, I'm, I'm saying, like, he's going to have a family one day. You know, he's going to have a wife and kids and all that. He's never going to be able to see his family. He's going to have a producer that basically owns him, you know, and that's not a good thing, you know. And, again, like, the whole selling your soul to be famous thing, like, you know, I personally, I hope everything works out for him. He ends up with a great life, but I, I just don't want him to make the mistake of going in and thinking, you know, hey, you know, I can sell my soul and I'm going to be great for the rest of my life because... You've seen what happens with so many of these people. You know, they fall into bad habits. Their career drops off. There's been a lot of one-hit wonders. Or they just die. You know, and you have to understand, you know, you're making a lot of sacrifices by going into this business. You know, whether it's acting, singing, even doing, like, reality TV shows, you know, being a TV star. You know, there's a lot of, like things that go into it so my advice to him and I know he probably won't watch the video my advice to him is going to be you know watch who you trust you know um, watch who you trust in that industry because you know you never know what could happen in that industry and uh, with that guys that's going to be the video I hope you guys enjoyed it I did. I enjoyed talking about everything, you know, especially the laser beams. Let me know if you want me to, like, you know, discuss that more, maybe. And also let me know, like, what other conspiracies you might have against me. Like, am I involved in the Illuminati or something? But, um, anyways, guys, um, this, let's make this a conspiracy. If Borden sponsor me, let's, uh, Make it a conspiracy as to why Borden's trying to get their name out to like 200 people. Now that is some high quality chocolate milk. But anyways guys, stay tuned tomorrow. Choose my starter episode for Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. And with that being said guys, um, I thank you for watching this video. I hope that you take all these thoughts and you know... Make an educated assumption, you know, don't come at me in the comments. Oh, you're just um, a hater You're just like you're just bigoted You know like no actually come up with an educated response that I'm actually gonna read, you know 
I promise you I won't reply to any stupid comments like uh, you know insulting me like I probably I can promise you I won't do that you know like don't come at me like a child and hurl insults and all that you know because that's just stupid and also like again let me know your thoughts in the comment section below with that being said Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and join my Discord. All three are linked in the description below. And, um, I mean, that's all I got, guys. Real American Studios out. Peace out, all my homies.